Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. For those of you who are new and didn't know me, my name is Mary. Welcome. I come from Armenia, but for nine years I live in Germany. And my husband is German and we are raising our three-year-old daughter named Audrey. Today I wanted to talk uh, with you about parenting in general in Germany. And in this video, I am not trying to offend anyone or say that Germans are better than any other countries or the others are better than Germans. It's just my personal opinion. And the other thing, the things I'm going to talk to you do not involve all the Germans. I mean, it's not that each German family fits to the things I'm going to tell you. It just means that the whole picture, the big picture looks like this for me. So I'm going to start from very beginning. And that is when you get your child, when you get your baby in Germany, you need to know that in most of the cases, German uh, parents love to raise their kids alone. And what does it mean? It means that they don't like any other family members to get mixed into this whole system. I mean, they make their own decisions. They're talking to people if they need any advice. They're talking to specialists, but they don't call to their mother-in-law or moms and they say, you know, I have this problem, what should I do? Or the parents-in-laws, I mean, grandparents do not call all the time to tell you what you have to do with your baby. It's not working this way in Germany. German parents are very independent. Before getting a child, they are reading a lot, they're talking to people, they're talking to specialists, they're taking courses, and they pretty much know what to wait when they get a baby. So they don't like any other people tell them what to do with their babies. What I noticed in Germany, parenthood does not mean that only mother takes care of the baby and the father goes out and works and take, uh, brings money home. But parenting means both parents being involved in raising their baby. It means if your baby is gonna cry at night, the father is gonna do the same job as you. I mean, he can't breastfeed, but he's gonna be up. He's gonna, maybe you're not breastfeeding, but giving bottles. It means the father will wake up and, or get up and bring the bottles. And during the day, you will share uh, the tasks in the, at home and the task with the baby or the father will take the baby for a walk while the mom is resting. Something that I did not notice in Armenia because in Armenia it's mostly the mom who is doing all the jobs with the baby, with household and men work outside. The next thing I love about German, German parenting is that from the very first day your baby is born, I mean not very first but the very first week your baby is born, the parents feel responsible to go out for a walk with a baby because they appreciate a lot for a baby to get a fresh air. It's crazy in Germany, right? Because I don't have any friend who would say, you know what, we, we are not in a mood to go out today. We're going to go out tomorrow. No, it's something like, it's like, uh, um, I can't even compare. It's some, it's holy thing for Germans. I have a feeling because they have to go out with a baby with a stroller every day every single day for one hour, two hours, but that's the least amount of time they're spending outside. Sometimes they go even twice out or three times out, depending if you have other kids who are at school or in kindergarten and you have to pick up your child, of course you have to go extra out for that, but they are taking it very serious to raise the children in open air, in fresh air. The parents here are relaxed when it comes to playgrounds as well. For example, when you are in playground, I am a mom who is too scared of everything, right? Uh, but German parents are letting their kids to explore, to try the things. They are just standing on the side there to help their kids if something is going to happen. But most of the time they're like, yeah, sure, it's a big slide, but you will make it. Just try it. You will like it. It's cool. Yeah, they are motivating. They are encouraging, of course, in balanced ways. It's not like one year old is going to slide from the slide. but. What I love the most, the German people, the German moms especially, they don't care how they look like. They care if they can play with their kids in the playground, which is amazing. I mean, you will never see a mom here with high heels or short skirts or dresses. 
playing outside with the kids because you can't play with high heels but you will see the moms who are just uh, dressed up comfortable enough to sit in the sand and build like sand castles or shape some forms with their kids and slide i mean i slide with my kid all the time if we have those big slides especially when audrey was very small she was like one year old one and a half and i did not want her to slide along from the big slides i was sliding with her and it's completely normal which i can imagine in armenia if i would just <laughs> climb up on the slide with my child and slide down it will it would look weird probably most of the times they will think is she crazy but in germany it's not the case we are swinging we're sliding we're sitting on the sand and uh, playing with the sand i do all the activities with audrey and this i learned from germans because they are so relaxed on the playground they appreciate to spend time with their kids and teach them how to play or teach them so many things so weekends in germany is a holy time that you are spending with your family with your kids it doesn't mean um, it doesn't matter how much you work during the week if you're a working mom and working dad but if it's weekend it's holy it's something that the families take for themselves and they organize day trips or anything you know like picnics going to ride a bike hiking whatever they're in mood of or whatever their hobbies are or meeting the friends but these are holy things so when it's saturday it won't mean that uh, the parents are gonna clean the house and cook and do all these household things but it means they're gonna take their kid and go out and explore the world and show them what's the new there and German people are very active. They're very active. You won't, you will come, hardly see a family who is just sitting on the couch and watching TV during the weekend, but you will mostly see all German people outside, especially when it's a little bit of sun outside and everyone is outside with their um, kids flying kites, going hiking uh, in the woods, anything, everything, or in the zoo or exploring just the nature and they love nature they love nature a lot and they do a lot of sports and they encourage their kids to be active during uh, i mean in the life then to sit on the couch and watch tv because they don't encourage that another thing i noticed among germans that i appreciate a lot and that makes them so different from the other nations i ever met is that they do not like to leave the kids to watch to let the kids to watch iPad a lot, iPad or phone or TV shows or anything. Uh, I mean, there are parents who will let the kids watch unlimited as they want, but the big picture, we are talking about the big picture, you won't see it's not that common in Germany. I mean, of course they will let them to watch like 20 minutes or half an hour and they have a limited time in a day when they will allow kids to watch their shows, but what they appreciate is going out and being active during the day and breathing a fresh air and getting active uh, uh, physically. The other thing what they appreciate a lot is reading books. I mean, they are crazy about books. Not only parents, the whole German nation. I was so surprised when I came to Germany and I saw in the bus, in the train, in airports, everywhere, in train stations, everywhere, these people read a lot they read a lot they just don't say we are reading and they don't read and they don't read and watch tv no it's not the case these people read a lot and they want their kids to read as well i mean i have friends who are whose kids are three years old and they're already signed in library and they're going weekly there picking up new books and reading them a lot and explaining them a lot and uh, teaching them a lot. I remember when we were on a vacation in Spain, I noticed it uh, so good that the German families are so different from the other nations. We took this family hotel where 80% of the guests were from Germany and the other 20% were from England, Spain, Italy, all different countries. And during the dinner time, German families, German parents would take turn to eat. It means the mother would eat while the father was uh, keeping the kids occupied, then the, the mother would keep the kids occupied when the father ate. And But you would never see on a German table a phone or iPad or whatsoever, nothing. I mean, the kids were 
taught to stay in the line and pick up their food and eat properly. Of course, they can't eat too much. They're kids and they're very fast. And when they're done, they're done. You can't keep, uh, keep them seated. That's why the German parents took turns to eat. Whereas my family, I'm not ashamed to say that my family and the other um, uh, families that were from Spain and Italy and stuff, we all had our phones on the table and the kids ate and uh, watched a little bit their shows while we were enjoying the dinner. And the reason for that was that I see my husband so less during the week. I, we don't have that much time together because my husband works a lot. And during the vacation, I just wanted to have a normal meal with my husband, enjoy our dinner and have this quiet time because at home, she's Audrey is not allowed to watch any shows while eating. It's forbidden. I mean, we have limited time where she's allowed to watch her shows. She is allowed to watch her shows, yes, but it's not that she's allowed to watch it every time she wants or the whole day long because uh, I try to go out a lot with Audrey. I try to do a lot of art and craft stuff and play with her a lot at home. That's why the time when she's out uh, in uh, preschool, I am doing everything in household. So when she's there, I have just time for her. And my husband does the same way. He comes home, he hardly eats anything, but he knows he has one hour left till the Audrey um, Audrey's sleep time so he takes this time and plays with her and then when Audrey goes to bed he sits and eats which I find amazing I'm so thankful uh, to him for being that kind of father to my child because Audrey uh, gets to enjoy both of the parents the same way I mean she knows we always have time for her she knows we are not lazy to play with her and we will be there for her so guys, I think I'm gonna stop talking right now and uh, make the second video about this uh, topic because it, it's getting too long already and I'm still not done and I have still so much to tell you about and I'm gonna film the second one after I'm done with this one because I'm like in a mood, you know, like to talk and talk and talk because I'm, I'm, I'm scared if I stop right now filming that I will never be in mood to talk now but now all these thoughts are coming out and I'm gonna stop this video here I'm gonna wish you a nice weekend and I will see you in my next video bye